This week in the Bridgestone 4 4 Club Challenge, a watcher lad navigate a canoe. A lady knits while her husband talks. Just uh, driving between uh, obstacles already. It's quite fun. And a Toyota Fortuna spins a lot. Welcome to the 2017 Bridgestone Club Final. We're going to have lots of fun. There's going to be lots of rain. I think today. I did bring my navigator, um, Anthony. No, this is not Anthony. This is Zane, my navigator. What's up, guys? Oh, oh and is this short? Ah, ah. I talk. Um, Anthony had other commitments for this weekend, so he couldn't make it. We certainly made a good team. And in our qualifying round, we even finished third in the short wheel base class in our little Suzuki gym. Our grand plans of world 4x4 domination, well, that didn't pan out as we expected. So we were not in the running for overall honors. Reigning short wheel base champion Jon Becker had built up a virtually unassailable lead in his Suzuki. There was still a fight on in the long wheel base class. Danny Daniels in a Jeep Grand Cherokee and Johan Reichel in a Toyota Fortuna. That said, Mother Nature often seems to play a role in the final. Back in 2014, rain heavily affected the finals. In 2016, a mini tornado ripped through the Club Challenge Camp site the night before the event, wreaking havoc. And this year, it seems she was at it again. The night before the final, the heavens opened up and it bucketed down on the Malunjeni Gez farm near Vereniging. At the start line, I caught up with championship contender, Danny Daniels. Danny, Hi. you're one of the leading men in, the, in your class, long wheel base. Yes. What's your plan for today? Today's a difficult one. You don't know if it's going to rain or not going to rain. I hear it's very muddy. It's very muddy so today, I'm yeah. I'm going to put foot. This right okay. one, you know. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. All the best. Yeah, thank you okay. very much. Okay, see you on the track. See Thanks. you on the track, buddy. Good luck. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. The driver's briefing was an important one, with safety a very important factor. Clock of the course, Andres Strauss, shared some of the news about the obstacles too. There's game on this, on this uh, farm and there's cattle on that side. So when you go through those gates, make sure you open and close them. The obstacles, they've somehow changed quite a bit. <laughs> Just because I think we had 40 millimeters of rain last night. And we're more than likely going to have rain this often. There's a lot of moisture in the air. Next, followed the customary safety checks on all the vehicles. Decals, yes. Belts. I can pull it for you, can listen. Yes, yes. And not long afterwards, the first vehicles ventured into the great unknown that was the 2017 Bridgestone 4x4 Club Challenge Finals. This is Longwell Bay's title contender, Johan Reichel, who has arrived at Obstacle 6 in his Fortuna 3-litre D4D. Obstacle 6 was to be one of the more meek and mild tests on the day, with his co-driver and wife, Mareke, on spotting duty on the track. Thank you. Johan easily negotiates the first part of the drive, but the Fortuna's tires are already packed with sticky, slimy and gooey mud.
the back straight, he has to negotiate some of the tight gates. But he does a grand job here, keeping up the momentum, but without excessive speed and spinning of the wheels. Now, there's just a last tight turn and one gate left. Surely, he will have to stop and reverse. <laughs> the slippery mud had caused the Fortuner to slide, exactly in the direction that Johan wanted it to go. He clears the final gate too. Yeah, I think I was very lucky here. Yeah? So, that's what it's all about. Final day, final event of the year. One point separating, separating us. So, let's see what's going on today. So let's see how his title rivals Danny Daniels and Rob Wallace fare on the same test. Oh, that's Danny's daughter, Danica. Hi, Danica. Hello. Right, let's see if Danny can match Johan's 100 points. He's in the first gate, and oh dear, he's taken out a pole. So that's already 25 points lost. With co-driver Rob Wallace doing the spotting, Danny gets through the next series of gates without picking up another penalty. Now, just for the last tight turn, and Danny decides to rather play it safe, stop and reverse. He gets through the last gate without incurring any more penalties. But there's just 65 points in the bank. So, Johan has an upper hand at this stage. Yeah, I was very snotty. I, I saw, you know, the lines I wanted to take, I couldn't take because it pushes me wherever it wants to. And I'm not happy with that one pole that I hit. Time for a quick break. When we return, we'll find out if the rain is going to stay away. Welcome back to the final of the Bridgestone 4x4 Club Challenge and we are at Obstacle 7 where Toyota Prado team Werner Voigt and Hendrik Ward are inspecting the challenge. Essentially, it's more of the same narrow gate, slippery heaps of mud and tight turns. Right, so let's see how the Prado V6 goes. Werner gets through the first gate without any issues but the next turn is too tight and he has to stop and reverse. That gets him on the right track for the next gate. There are more narrow gates and tight turns on the menu. And in the next gate, the Prada looks like it's through but the back end slides in the slippery mud, knocking over a pole. Another stop and reverse is on the menu to get through the final gate. Oh, oh no, he's hit another pole in the last gate. So that's a total of just 30 points. How's it going so far, Verna? Quite tricky with the witness. Uh much more uh, technical than we expected so sliding around a lot so it's cool it's having for lots of fun meanwhile my new co-driver was dishing out instructions on exactly how i should be driving and so on
Yang Zheng certainly doesn't lack in the enthusiasm. And after the pep talk, and with the first raindrops falling again, we are finally off too, heading to obstacle 1. While we slowly made our way to the first challenge, there was much action elsewhere on the track. This is obstacle 8, and as you can see, the rain has cometh, turning the slippery obstacles into muddy quagmires. Juan Foslo and Skalk Kruger are working out a cunning plan to compete the obstacle in their Toyota Prado V6. Let's see how this cunning plan turns Get out up. today. The Prado makes it through the first gate as it slides down the embankment. This is the slippery stuff. Now for the climb. That didn't work out very well. How far can I go? Huh? Yeah. Juan reverses or rather slides backwards and has another run at the climb. But the Prado again spins to a stop on the snotty surface. My wheel is right. Just check how slippery that surface is as the Toyota slides down the hill. It's pretty nasty mud that. Getting out of the obstacle may prove to be a bit of a challenge in itself. No! No, no! Eventually, Joanne extracts the Prado out of the muddy obstacle. Here are Werner and Hendrik, again also in a Prado V6. With the rain not letting up and one Prado not making it out of the obstacle, do they even have a chance? Uh, that's a no. Verna gives it another go. Okay, we all know how this is going to end. Another zero here. Not any points, but that's brilliant fun, eh? This is obstacle 9, and with the rain now bucketing down again, it has been transformed into an impossible mess. This is title contender Johan Reichel and his Fortuna, and the Fortuna is wedged inside a small dip, not able to move forward or back. A major recovery process ensues. Right, hang on. Thankfully, a Land Rover Defender is a heavy contraption, and it works wonders as an anchor, winching the Toyota out of the hole. But just check the Fortuna's wheel spinning, it's unbelievably slippery. Even Rootmaster Saki Kotsie was having issues with the mud. 
and then Mother Nature threw another curveball. A lightning strike giving our cameraman a big fright. After much waiting at the beginning, we got sent to obstacle number one. And we didn't do obstacle number one because of the rain, because we looked up, there was a hell of a lightning, so off we go to the hole. So now it's more waiting and more waiting and waiting. We don't know what's gonna happen. It's thundering, it's bucketing, so everybody's just here waiting. On the other side of the air break, we find out if the rain will let up and who went for a swim in the darkness. So eventually the rain has stopped. The chief marshal has decided we're going to give it another go. But this time around we're looking for virtual marshals. What that is, is a sign that's hidden out in the bush. You get a set of stickers that you pluck on the virtual marshals and that way you earn points. Of course, you had to find that marshal board to pluck the sticker on, driving on some of the muddy tracks. Here's a summary of what happened next. Marshals had been very clever with this one particular hidden marshal point, placing that board in the middle of a dam. Some teams waded in, others went to up in a supplied canoe. Others, well, others went for a swim. Let's have a quick look at how some of the other teams fared here. And so, after a long and muddy day, it was time to finally crown the champions of the 2017 Bridgestone 4x4 Club Challenge. In the ladies' long wheel base class, honours went to the consistent readies in the Jeep Wrangler. They take home an 85-litre fridge freezer courtesy of Snowmaster and a 12,000 rand tyre voucher from main sponsor Bridgestone. 
Congratulations to the Reddies. In the men's long wheelbase class, Danny Daniels and Rob Wallace had done just enough to beat Johan Reichel. Danny and Rob won a 25,000 rand voucher from Opposite Lock to spend on Tough Dog suspension and a DCC Pro charging system. First place in the ladies' short tool base class went to Natalie Shepard and Brett Bailey in a Suzuki Jimny. They also took home an 85 litre fridge freezer courtesy of Snowmaster and a 12,000 rand tyre voucher from Bridgestone. Hopefully, they brought a trailer for that fridge. In the short wheel base class, it was a dominant performance from Johan Becker in a Suzuki Jimny, who also won a 25,000 rand opposite log voucher and a charging system. That is that for the 2017 season then. The good news is we'll be back in 2018, bigger and better. If you want to enter or get involved as a marshal, email Guthrie Blaine at gblaine at bridgestone.co.za. We bid you farewell with some of the highlights from the 2017 Bridgestone Cap Challenge. See you soon. <laughs>